Hi, greetings everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create summary tasks. Summary tasks are great for organizing the work tasks for a project. They can represent phases of work or tasks performed by a particular group. In project, you can create a summary task for several existing tasks or create a new summary task with its own new subtask. Let's say you want to organize some existing work task. For example, you can just drag over the task name cells to select the task like these four cells. And then on the task tab in the insert section, click on the summary. You can see the project adds a new summary task and makes those four selected tasks the subtasks. Well, this is ready for me to type a new name. So I will type the name, say the introduction as we have created the course outline for the MS project 2013. I've named this as introduction for the four subtasks. I'll say okay. When I say okay, there is a black color bracket that shows the duration of all the subtasks. That's one of the things about the summary tasks. The duration of the summary task is the duration of the sequence of the subtasks. Just click the black triangle and the subtask disappears. If you want it to reappear, just click on the white color bracket. Now if I change the days for introduction to say 18 days, if you see here, you can see that the duration of the summary task is 18 days now. If I reduce this days, the 5 days to say 2 days. introduction reduces to 11 days and say for example if I make this to 8 working days it will go to 17 days you can also add manually scheduled summary tasks these come in really handy if somebody tells you how long you have to get some work done and you want to see whether you have enough time to get it done. So in this case, select these tasks and insert the summary tasks. I'll name this as say working with the project. I'll say okay. And initially the duration for that summary task is set to the sequence of the subtasks. But you can change the duration of this manually scheduled summary task. So let's say your manager gave you 10 days to work upon. Type in 10 D here or you can use the scroll button or you can use the spin button. You'll see a couple of things. Well, the black color bracket shows the amount of time that you have typed in and the duration field is set to 10 days. But this steel bracket shows the duration of the subtasks and what you can see is there is gap between the two and that tells you actually you have a little bit more time than you need. On the other hand, what if you got five days? We will type five days, five D or say, you can even type, even use the spin button. Now the black color bracket shows 
five working days but the other task bar still shows the duration of the subtasks set to seven days and because that bar is longer than what you got it turns red to show you that you don't have enough time you can also insert a brand new summary task so let's say you have some new work you need to add to the project in this case i will select the first blank cell in the project and go to the insert group and select the summary task now it will add the subtask by default i'll name this as linking tasks i'll say okay i have to give five working days for this summary task and would like to add these four topics as the subtask for the linking tasks i can just keep doing that to add as many subtasks as i need for this new summary task summary tasks make it manageable to plan and track the work you are doing and what you have accomplished project makes it easy to create summary tasks to organize your work i hope the concept is clear to you thank you